think those ones that were doing my armor were my favorite. These ones? Yeah. Yeah. They're very flavorful. Right, and they like were big and like Yeah, we did meaty. Those ones, right? Yeah. They weren't really meaty. Water. Right. Good morning, modern steaders. We need to move our crate that we glazed and finished up yesterday for our other project upstairs. And then we can start our tomato and pepper plants in our soil blocks. So I'm going to get this done and then we'll get right back to today's project. Grab some water while we're up here. I'm gonna unplug the grow light, that way we don't look all purple while we're working. Mm -hmm. We got the foreman. You watching us? Yeah, how'd that feel? Mm -hmm. Alright, gotta go to the cave and get the soil. And the seeds. Here are our seeds. 40 degrees. Everything's open. Watch out, Pluto. The soil's not here. Soil's in here, so Figaro don't need it. That water, mister, is for growing tomato plants. Not you. What are you doing? Waiting for the internet connection to connect. Oh man. This showed up on the doorstep the other day. Might as well use it for the first time today. Oh, it's really cool there. Yeah. Is that going to be enough for More than enough for today. Not good. No. Huh. You're going to use a whole bag? We're using a seed starter mix. It works a lot better than using compost or a parting soil mix. This is the fine, so it's really small. So it makes a really good base. It makes it easier for a seed to start uh, in it. Get out of there. Uh, not a litter box. It's a litter box. Um, you tried the other kind. Can get the water? I'll spread it out a little. You want to play in the mud box? Should I go grab some more water? It's gotta be like a cake-like batter consistency. Alright, let's we'll do our peppers. What do you want to start with? Do I don't know, however you say that. Pepper. Let's see how the second word though. Or well, would we only have one pepper? No, we have two. We have King of the North. And then we have these ones. Now make sure I use the right one. Right. 
I find that starting the soil blocks inside the 10 by 12 inch trays work the best. Alright, you ready? Uh -huh. Start making it. And your cat playing with the box and paper. Hey girl, you're kind of noisy with that bag. Something satisfying about making soil blocks. I don't know what it is. Can I just put one in each hole? See how many, do one in each hole for now and we'll see how many leftovers we have. What's that? I wouldn't think there would be. We're gonna do the subarctic plenty tomato. You want, some, you want some tea, mister? Oh goodness. How are those markers working? This one works a lot better. Miss handwriting and queen it upstairs though. Oh, Olivia should be down here doing this. I bet if you asked her, she wouldn't love it. Livy's! So you got the nice handwriting, so we'll give you two more trays. And mom's got the next one. The <laughs> next one. If you want to write it on it. So this one is tomato pink Berkeley tie-dye. Yep. Nice job. Okay, don't get on anything. Oops. Watch out, Pluto. Watch out, girl. What are you doing next? Tomato, tomato gold medal. Nice. What do you think you're doing up there? Huh? How do I get up in the Hey. Figaro, you can't get up there. Oh, yes, he can. Well, no, he has to go that way. He can get all the wood pieces. Do that. Two per hole. You thought they were big? I thought they were tiny when I, mean, I saw them. Two per hole, at least two per hole. Yeah. Go for it. Is that it? You Put your hands under it. It's heavy. Yeah, 
Oh, uh, Libby's. <laughs> Actually. Is this our last one? No, one more after this one. What's our last? Oh, did you already make another one? Yeah. Oh. Should have stacked on top of each other. Which tonight are we going in here, Libby's? Um. Wild Boar Farms. That's the name of it. Tomato pink berkeley tie-dye. What was it? Tomato pink berkeley tie-dye. Oh. <coughs> I think did we have those last year? Those are really good, weren't yeah, they? Yeah, good luck. Mm -hmm. And I think this is my three. We got time. We got over here. We did last year too. And we had very good luck. With I think those ones that we're doing right now were my favorite. These ones. Yeah. Yeah. They're very flavorful. Right, and they like. We're big and like yeah, we did meaty. Right? Yeah, they weren't really like meaty. Solid water. Right. The only new ones we're doing this year are the subarctic, and the reason we're doing those is they should produce fruit sooner. All right. BLT, here we come. Food up. You want to get in that box too, Pluto? A lot of pressure. These are our favorite ones. And we only have 25 seeds. <gasps> this year we'll have to save some. Nothing? No reaction. Our own. <laughs> you don't feel the pressure? No. No. Cute, cool of a cucumber. Oh, there's Olivia's handwriting. Is it nicer? Yeah. Than mine? Come on now. Yeah. You know what? I tried and she didn't, so hers I is definitely tried. better. I tried. You didn't try, you just did it. That's yeah, your normal handwriting. Yeah, because I don't need to try. That's what I'm saying. You didn't try, I did. Mine still looks better. I was trying really hard to write nicely. I know, but mine still looks better. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, you just have nice handwriting. Must be left hander. Must be the left hand in. Can you get tight to the table? Start off with one. Go back, go back and forth. Okay. Okay, well, that's three more seeds left. That's why I only did one. So I don't have two now. And... Yeah. Perfect. I did all of this. I see it all of them. So that one might have three. It does. Yeah, so I see it a bit. How's your handwriting look? Good. Pretty. The trays look nice and fancy this year. Yeah. Okay, how do you turn this on? Oh, now you want to turn them on? Yeah. Ooh, pretty. It's blue and red that makes it look purple. Yeah. What about this <clears throat> one? We don't need to turn that light on yet because the seeds haven't started yet. Yeah, they have the ones. We have this on, it's for the celery. Oh. Is that going to be okay for the other one? Yeah, it'll be fine for the other one. Sap has not started flowing yet, but we got about two inches of snow last night. And it looks beautiful. I had to take it out and show you. It's nice when the trees are covered in a nice fresh coating of snow.
Magnificent. Later on this week, the sap's gonna stop flowing. On Thursday, it's supposed to be 60. And then I believe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, at least Tuesday and Wednesday, are gonna be in the 40s. So I'm thinking by Thursday, we're gonna have some sap flowing. That'll be fun. Looks pretty cool from back here. I like it. And then I gotta make a rustic rough saw lumber board for the top just to finish it off. Look at you go. She's been envisioning this since this morning. <laughs> Olivia put it all together, stacked them all up on top of each other, huh? Well, the bookshelf came out nice. Are you happy with it, Libby? Yeah. You happy with it, Mom? I am. It looks so cool with the board on top. Yeah. Right. Was it worth all the time and the frustration and the pain in the well, buttons? It wasn't frustrating. It was just time consuming. Okay. <laughs> but it looks nice. Sure we'll finish it up with a board on it. It's going to look cool once it's all organized. Yeah. Thanks for following us along in our journey today. The animals are just being crazy. If you're new to the channel, now is a great time to subscribe. Going down below, hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications, and remember we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumber Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, social business, and freedom. Bye. Bye. Bye.